Holy cow, guys. Take a look at this sunset. This is beautiful. I could not ask for anything better. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel, and happy Thanksgiving from the beautiful Disney Fantasy. It is day six of our Very Merry Time Cruise, and it is a day at sea today. Today's video is going to be very exciting. Not only is it Thanksgiving Day here on the Disney Fantasy, but we're going to be showing you guys what all goes on on a Disney cruise ship during Thanksgiving Day. Because leading up to this cruise, it was near impossible to find a video detailing what you can expect on Thanksgiving Day on a Disney cruise. So that's what we're going to be doing for you guys today. We're going to be detailing everything that you can find on board the ship. But before we get into any of that stuff, we have a brunch reservation at Palo. I'm very excited for that. So let's not waste any time, guys. Let's head on upstairs and have a wonderful breakfast. We are back in the room after a phenomenal Palo brunch. Oh my days. That was so good. That was so incredibly good. This was my first time having Palo brunch on one of the larger ships like the Dream and the Fantasy. And I gotta say, I was very impressed. Very impressed. Our service at Lana was absolutely phenomenal. All the food was really great. My mom really enjoyed it. It was her first time. And now we are back in the room. We're gonna change, and we're probably gonna do some putt-putt right now. My mom has the World Cup on the TV. I think it's Brazil and Serbia that's playing right now. So we've been enjoying a lot of the World Cup throughout this cruise. Uh, but we are so ridiculously full. And then tonight, we have Thanksgiving dinner in the main dining rooms. A menu specifically made for Thanksgiving night. So I'm very excited to try that out. But there is more fun to be had on the ship. So let's go ahead and get to it. Woohoo! Look at how full the adult pool is on a sea day. Wow. A lot of people down here. And even more people up here on this tiny little pool. Very busy. The family pools are just as busy, if not busier today as well. So over here is the entrance to the aqua dock. You go into the funnel. We have the aqua lab splash pad over here, but here's something that's interesting. Waves, like there is a bar back here just tucked away in the corner that is, you wouldn't even know that a bar is here. It doesn't look like there's anything here, but you come around the corner and there's a bar. <laughs> a full-on bar that you can come to that hardly anyone ever uses. So that's awesome. Make sure when you're here on the Fantasy, come over here and, you know, pay this bartender a visit. He's so lonely. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> that is so sad. He's just there by himself. <laughs> oh no. And over here on deck 14, you of course have your mini golf course. You can come up here and play a little game of putt-putt.
So this right here is the last hole of the putt-putt course and you have to hit it up a ramp and into the sink. It's so funny to see that so many balls get hit and they ricochet off and they fall down here. You can see a couple of the balls down here in the little gutter. This is Palo, by the way. So you can just imagine sitting there having brunch or dinner and just hearing ping and seeing a golf ball fly off. Huh, take a look at this backdrop over here for the very maritime cruises. You got your fireplace, all the Christmas presents down there, plenty of Disney ornaments. You have Mickey and Minnie uh, stockings hanging by the fire. You have your Disney Cruise Line pillow. I love this. So we're currently in line to meet Santa. He's gonna make an appearance at 3.15. Current time right now is 3.06. Guests of the Disney Fantasy, please welcome Santa Claus. Oh my gosh, take a look at this. They set up hot chocolate and cookies over here as well. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. And as you guys can see, the line is quite lengthy to meet the big man himself. So if you want to do this, make sure you get here early. Unfortunately, they are trying to keep the line moving rather quickly, so I'm not going to be able to film an actual interaction with Sam. We're just going to take a bunch of pictures, but I'll go ahead and put a few in over here for you guys to see. Jesus, Jesus, So following the story time with Mrs. Claus, Mickey and his friends, they all come out and they do little impromptu meet and greets. It's only for about 10 minutes though, so make sure you're prepared and you know exactly who you want to meet. Oh, I love it, Minnie. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Hey, Goofy, how are you? 
Oh my gosh, I love your outfit. <laughs> Loving the plaid, man. You rock it. One, two, three. Thank you so much, Mickey. I appreciate it. You look awesome. Holy cow, guys. Take a look at this sunset. This is beautiful. I could not ask for anything better. It's a real shame that I haven't been able to get more shots like this throughout this cruise because we don't have a veranda room, so I have to go out of my way in order to come outside like this. But man, this was worth it. Nothing like a little football on Thanksgiving before dinner. By the way guys, if you're on a Thanksgiving cruise in the future and you're looking for a football game, like NFL football, um, it's not gonna be on ESPN or anything. You gotta go to one of their events channels. So scroll through and you're gonna see events. It's gonna be on one of those channels. Hey Goofy, how are you? Wait, Santa, you lost a lot of weight. What in the world, what happened? <laughs> Yeah. You look good. You look good. You hit the Peloton. I love it. <laughs> Can I get a quick picture of you? Yeah, yeah. Got to roll down the sleeves. Slick the hair back. Make it all look good. I love it. <laughs> Ready to strike a pose. Hey. <laughs> I love it. All right. Time for Thanksgiving dinner. There is a wonderful holiday atmosphere here in Royal Court this evening. Let's go ahead and take a look at the menu. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Thanksgiving dinner menu. Here are your specialty cocktails. We have our appetizers over here. Hot spinach and artichoke dip, potted chicken liver parfait, Virginia ham and white cheddar croquettes, and a Thanksgiving seafood sampler. For soups and salads, we have a pumpkin soup and our harvest corn chowder. We also have a baby gem lettuce and carrot, yellow and red beet salad. And for bread service, we have cornbread. For our main courses, we have a bacon wrapped Chesapeake Bay cod, pumpkin and marscapone ravioli, veal loin topped with pulled Maryland crab meat and Bernays glaze, Governor Bradford's roasted turkey, which is our typical turkey dinner that we all know and love, and we have a black pepper crusted standing rib roast. And here are your vegetarian and lighter note offerings as well. And down here, we even have our desserts on the menu. We have a Pilgrim's Pumpkin Cheesecake, an Apple Pie a la mode, a Dark Chocolate Cranberry Bar, and a Thanksgiving Sundae. For signature, you have an American Peanut Butter Fudge Pie, and no sugar added, you have a Roasted Chet Nut Panna Cotta. Of course, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without some cornbread. All right, I have three different appetizers to show off to you guys. This is the Thanksgiving Seafood Sampler. Over here, we have the Ham and Cheese Croquettes, and this right here is the Spinach Artichoke Dip. For those of you guys who are curious as to what's inside the croquetas, or croquettes, the spinach artichoke dip, not my favorite thing in the world. It doesn't have too much flavor. Like, I feel like they're relying too much on the breadcrumbs on top, which you can just scrape off. There's not really too much flavor. Same thing goes for the, for the croquettes. The croquettes didn't have too much flavor, but they were better tasting than the artichoke dip. And my favorite was the, was the seafood sampler. If you're a fan of salmon and seafood, then you're gonna absolutely love that. That seafood sampler was actually my favorite. Okay, next up we have our soup course. This is the Harvest Corn Chowder with chorizo and rye croutons. And over here we have the pumpkin soup with Creole lobster. Okay, I had a couple bites of the pumpkin soup. Very, very strong pumpkin flavor. A Little bit spicy too, but I absolutely love this soup. It's really, really good. Definitely worth trying. And the Harvest Cheddar Soup is actually really tasty as well. The chorizo that's inside really adds a lot of flavor to it. And I personally really like it. I don't know how else to describe it other than get it. Mr. Vasquez. Yes, please. Remember yourself on the side for your turkey? Thank you. Amazing. Enjoy, Appreciate it. All right, here we have the Black Pepper Crusted Standing Rib Roast. Roasted red onion, sugar snap peas, thyme tomato grind and a claret wine sauce. This looks amazing, holy cow. This is a honking piece of meat. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is Governor Bradford's roasted turkey, served with turkey stuffing, 
mashed sweet potato with honey and crushed pecans, roasted vegetables, pan roasting juices, and cranberry sauce. Your typical Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, so giving a quick review of the turkey plate. It's really good. A lot of it is really good. However, the white meat does have a tendency to get kind of dry. I mean, that's typical with any kind of white meat. But I asked the server because on our plate, we get a little piece of dark meat as well. That was the same across the board. We all got a little piece of dark meat. I asked my server if there was any way to request a plate that was all dark meat. And she said that you would have to request that a day in advance. So that way they know ahead of time to make a plate specifically for you with just all dark meat and no white meat. So, something to bear in mind, if you are coming on Thanksgiving cruise and you know that you want all dark meat, request it a day in advance so that way they know to make it and you're set for the next meal. Thank you for all the joy and laughter we have experienced together. And uh, thankful for all the special memories yet to come. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. Cheers. And our desserts have finally arrived. We have our pumpkin cheesecake. And right next door, we have the apple pie. There's a party happening over there. They're holding up a giant 69. Correction, that is a five. I wanted to see a six. That was a five. Just finished a phenomenal Thanksgiving dinner and you can see it is a very busy night here in the atrium indeed. All right, time for some Marvel super fan face-off. Let's see how much I know. Who casts four out of Asgard? Is it A, Loki, B, Odin, C, Heimdall, or D, the Outcaster? Who casts Thor out of Asgard? A, Loki, B, Odin, C, Heimdall, D, the Outcaster. Reveal your answers in three, two, one. What is Stephen Strange's occupation before his car accident? Is it A, a neurosurgeon, B, a therapist, C, a medical school professor, or D, a party magician? I'll read it again. In the comics. In the comics. Which Avengers team member left weeks after the team was formed? Is it A, Captain America, B, the Hulk, C, Thor, D, Mr. Wishy Washy? In the comics, which Avengers team member left weeks after the team was formed? A, Captain America, B, Hulk, C, Thor, D, Mr. Wishy Washy? In the film, Avengers, Age of Ultron, who does Thor worry will be able to lift me on here? A, the Hulk, B, Captain America, C, Iron Man, D, Stan Lee. Which comic did Spider-Man first appear in? Is it A, Amazing Spider-Man 1, B, Amazing Fantasy 15, C, Spectacular Spider-Man Magazine 2, or D, Here Comes the Spider-Man. In the Avengers issue 2, who impersonates the Hulk? A, Loki, B, a Space Phantom, C, a Skrull, D, the Impersonator. Where does Scott Lang work when he first leaves prison? Is it A, Baskin Robbins, B, Sonic, C, Dairy Queens, D, Shop Keys? All right, made it up to the upper deck. We're going to get our spots and enjoy some football. Any minute now, they'll be putting on the game. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. <laughs> what the heck? We have a turkey as a towel animal. There is no way. I have never seen this before. This is so cool. Whew. And with that, day six is in the books for our first ever Very Merry Time Cruise here on the Disney Fantasy. Thanksgiving Day on a Disney cruise was not what I expected. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I expected a lot more Thanksgiving specific activities to be, you know, happening on board the ship. Hell, I even expected Mickey to appear in his pilgrim outfit because in all the promotional images I've ever seen from a Thanksgiving cruise here on the Disney Cruise Line, um, you've, you've always seen Mickey in his pilgrim outfit and he didn't even make an appearance today. But, you know, we did get some fun with Santa and Mrs. Claus and all the characters in their holiday outfits. So that was still really fun just 
not quite what I was expecting. So you guys let me know what you thought about this down in the comment section below. Have you guys ever been on a Thanksgiving cruise before? And um, let me know if the experience was different from what you saw today or pretty similar because I'm very, very curious to, to hear what other people's experiences are. But either way, tomorrow is our final day on board the Disney Fantasy. Tomorrow we are at Castaway Key. So tomorrow's going to be a very fun day. We have some snorkeling planned. We're going to get off the island, hit the beach, spend some more time on board the ship. It's going to be a fun video. I hope you guys are excited for it. If you are, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Have that notification bell turned on to get notified whenever that video comes out in the very near future. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening. And I'll see you guys in the next video.